Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Premier League team of the season squad that we already knew was coming has been released. The prices are nuts and the market has gone to the freaking moon, man. This market is incredibly high. Prices everywhere are to the moon, bro. It's insane. So I want to talk about that today. What's going to happen with the weekend league sell-off? What is that going to look like this weekend? As it is probably one of the most sweatiest weekend leagues in FIFA history, or this, this entire year of FIFA, one of the most sweaty weekend leagues because these Premier League TOTS players are on the line this next week for rewards. So that is a big thing that is going on right now. I want to talk about these pro these TOTS cards prices and as well today on Saturday, what kind of content that we could be seeing because last week on Saturday, we saw some interesting market movements with the brand new TOTS cards. I think you're going to see it again today on this Saturday inside of Prem Tots. Now, of course, the Tots counter is up from two to four. I opened my saved up packs. I got Ederson. And of course, EFL cards are still in packs. And that kept the pack weight for team of the seasons pretty high today. A lot of people pack these EFL cards. Uh, and these cards dropped, again, a lot because people were not expecting them to be in packs. And again, EA Sports kept them in packs. It now looks like they're going to be doing a staggered release. So, like, I'm not sure if the EFL Tots cards how long they're in packs for. Um, okay, they're in packs for two days, 12 hours right now. So these cards are going to be in packs, I think, until Monday. Either Monday or Tuesday. I can't do the math in my head right now. These EFL TOTS cards are going to be out until then, and then it will be replaced by the Saudi League. So as you can see on this little calendar tile here, two days, 12 hours until those are out of packs. So they're going to be in packs throughout the weekend with more lightning rounds. So, you know, definitely keep an eye on these cards. But that really hurt a lot of these guys today. I think people on FIFA lost coins on Tony, Clark Harris, Hughes, and, and Max Aarons, of course, because those were cards that people had bought maybe post rewards, right? Because Max Aarons was 150,000 coins yesterday before the content drop. So that was a big one that we saw there. Um, but again, Premier League tots, 15 players in packs. Again, just like it was with community team of the season, these guys were kind of cheap early on i bought a cane for 650 sold it for 700 salah was down at 1.44 sun in like the second hour was 1.85 bruno was 2.2 de bruyne was 1.05 rashford was 2.6 mil when it stinked at three and now it's had a price range update at 3.2 he's the most expensive card in tots uh yo so actually a lot of these cards right now are up right gunduan is down and mount are down because those were both over invested in, in my opinion but ruben diaz from where we had prices drop you know Prices were low to start off with. They went kind of up around, you know, 9, 10, 11 p.m. UK time. Some of those cards dropped back off a little bit. And now rising into Saturday again, we are seeing these cards. People want to use them. They want to try them out. Ruben Diaz is very rare. He is up the most, in my opinion, for percentage point-wise. Fofana was 300K. He's now 340. Um, and some of these cards are just really cheap, right? So check under 100,000 coins. Gundogan looks really cheap for a lot of people. We lost some coins on him today, thinking that he would rise from 200,000 coins. He didn't really do that well, uh, but we still made a ton of coins today as well because, again, what happened was so many people opened up those saved packs and cards on this game that are meta and popular absolutely exploded, especially especially this community team of the season. Barnes is up 200,000 coins from his lowest point. Alaba is back to 900K. Juan Bissaka is 750,000 coins. And it's crazy, right? Because some of these community TOTS cards have better stats than the Prem TOTS cards, right? We talked about that yesterday. It's crazy, right? It's unbelievable, honestly. Um, it just seems backwards, right? But these cards are still hyped. A lot of people are using them. They're going to want to try them out. And, you know, you're going to see them fluctuate throughout the weekend this weekend as we even go towards out of the weekend league. Now, I want to talk about a couple things with these cards today. You're probably going to see them rising up into the morning a little bit more as you're watching this. These guys are pretty rare. They might continue to trickle upwards as we get towards 6 p.m. content. But just like last week, as we saw on Saturday, people were selling these cards right as we got close to the content drop, the high tier cards, people were selling these as we got close to the content drop because they were fearing that their prices were going to drop. And actually what happened was all that selling was not met with demand. So a lot of people were thought, you know, these, these cards are going to get packed on Saturday with lightning rounds and stuff. And they didn't, right? Remember Valverde was down to like 930,000 coins. He quickly rebounded back up to a mil. There's going to be even more demand for these cards today for a guy like Rashford. I mean, 
I remember specifically last year on Saturday, I bought a Kevin De Bruyne for 3.8 mil and I sold it for 4.2 mil literally an hour later. So watch for the panic selling on the high tier cards, the rare ones, right? Sun, Salah, Bruno, De Bruyne, Rashford. The five cards in this team that are right now over a million coins, I would seriously watch those today alongside of Ruben Diaz and Harry Kane because those are more rare cards for their higher rating. Um, and they're probably going to fluctuate around a little bit more today. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for, the selling headed into the 6 p.m. time frame, then a potential rebound. What other things could we see today on Saturday? Now, yesterday, of course, we had the Gareth Bale SBC, which fodder is in the bin, right? The rest of this market is sky high, and fodder is in the bin. This SBC is only 300,000 coins from scratch to complete. I'm definitely going to be doing this with player picks. Uh, if you want to do Digne, he honestly looks like decent value now with how cheap the SBC fodder is. I do think we get one more Tots SBC today. Maybe it's that day for Tots Lingardino, maybe a Tots Moments Lingardino, right? Um, because this Moments card, I think if Lingard gets a Tots, it's going to be a Moments because this is a celebrating a superb assist against Leeds in the Premier League this year for this Digne card. So that's like... Uh, Lingard's chance of getting a card. Now, if that would come out today, that'd be some very interesting market movements. A center attack in mid Lingard would be kind of crazy, right? I mean, Grealish could get a card today. Those are some two names that I think are popular names people think should get in, but I think it's 100% we get some sort of player SBC today. I don't know if we really get anything else though. Icon packs usually don't drop on Saturdays unless EA is going to surprise us. Upgrade packs, probably not dropping on Saturday as well. Those are more like a Sunday, Monday type thing. Uh, and then, you know, the rest of the market's probably going to maintain a decently high price. You're going to start to see some of this stuff trickle off, though. A lot of these out-of-pack specials, like I've been watching this Ansu Fati, a lot of icons, man, are so, so high. Like this... Uh, what's, where's the card I'm looking for? I bought a Garincha today for 1.53. I sold it at 1.7. And this dude is in the 1.8 range now. It's crazy, right? This Zidane was 1.2 mil. He's down to 1.2 again, but he was selling in the 1.5s. Um, this Vieira was selling at 2.5 mil. He's still there. The, the whole entirety of this market right now is just up crazy, crazy high amounts. And it's wild to see. But you'll probably see it start to cool off a little bit as we get closer into the weekend league sell-off time period uh, today on Saturday. Now, last week, prices really didn't drop off that much as we headed out of the weekend, um, but I think you're gonna see more drop-offs this week. I honestly think the biggest thing that's gonna impact the market as we head out of this week is going to be upgrade packs because people are going to sell cards from their team that they have to go and do upgrade packs. That's going to be the thing that really takes coins off the market this week is just people going out and doing SBCs, grinding the upgrade packs, crafting and stuff like that. And there's going to be a really, really high demand for that. Now, if you want to prepare for some of those upgrade SBCs, I don't think you necessarily have to buy Premier League rares. I don't know if they're going to require Prem rares for these SBCs. But Prem Rares are down, right? They are down. They're right right now at like 850 to 900 coins per. These guys were up above 1,000 coins um, even last week. So keep an eye on some of these Prem Rares because they were probably even lower yesterday, but they're still a little bit lower now. I would keep an eye on those um, because, you know, even just Gold Rares in general, you know, from other leagues. Let's check like League One. Are these basically discard? Yeah, they're basically discard. So if you wanted to go ham, if you're going to be spamming upgrade packs during Prem Team of the Season, uh, which is definitely, I think I did this last year or two years ago. I said, man, I'm just going to go, you know, bananas on rare golds that they require for upgrade packs. So the thing is, though, of course, you don't know what exactly is going to be happening um, until the actual upgrade packs drop. You don't know if they're going to require Prem Rares. But if that is something you, you know you're going to be doing a lot of upgrade packs, then... Um, then I would say that's something you could probably get into and get ahead on with that game as well. Now, we also have the Rodri and the Bamford objectives here available. Bamford looks okay. It's all through squad battles, so that's not too much of a grind. Rodri uh, is through the live foot-friendly Premier Play, which I'm not even sure what that requires. But uh, this is out until the end of the season, which we have to talk about this. We have one week left on this season. So if you haven't finished all your icon swaps yet or you're trying to get to level 30 for whatever reason, uh, you've got one week left before we'll have new icon swaps and stuff like that going on. So that's just kind of one note to kind of look out for and kind of to watch for there as well. But 
Uh, again, crazy, crazy day, right? Let's let's take a look at this market and just let me show you some of these insanely high prices. We knew the market was going to go really high tonight, but even some of these prices are just crazy appalling to me, right? Let's look at the index icon. In index icon does not do this justice, right? Because we were down at 40 points on the index icon, and now we are up right now at 42.07. But some of these meta cards, how much they have risen is ridiculous. It's ridiculous how some of these moments icons and some of these middle and even baby icons have risen today with rarity and with the demand. The prices have been insane, right? This Eusebio 3.2 mil, Cruyff is to over two. I bought a Ronaldo today at 1.5, sold it at 1.64. Diego Maradona is 1.6. This Patrick Vieira card was literally 900K last night, and right now he's showing as 1.2 mil, right? Uh, 900K yesterday in the morning, even 988, right around the content drop yesterday, 920 on Thursday before rewards for this 86 Vieira. I mean, some of these prices that have gone up have been unbelievable. Even on some of the informs, right? Alan St. Maximin was like 360, 370,000 coins. He's down to 349 right now. That was 315K. There wasn't a lot of panic selling yesterday. And I was talking about how I thought cards were going to get low yesterday. There wasn't a ton of stuff that dropped off, but there were some panic windows right after 6 p.m. on Friday when the Prem Tot squad was announced. This Adama was 760 earlier in the morning on Friday. He was back down to like 710, 720 right after the announcement of Team of the Season and is now up over 800K. Awar is up a lot. Atal is up big. Um, Gunter is actually up a lot. Kent with those English links up a ton. So again, you're really rare and your meta out of pack special Lucas Mora is 740,000 coins. Bang. What a rise there. Even Sambia, not, you know, related to Premier League links at all. He's up like 40,000 coins. So if you take a look across this entire game, like all the special cards are up. And if you're happy with some of the prices, if it's not a long-term buy for your team, again, what we continue to have during Team of the Season is more cards of this caliber coming out every single week, and that replaces a lot of the other special cards that people get in their teams and they want for their teams. So you're probably going to see not only these cards dropping off out of the weekend with more supply and the weakening demand going away, you're going to see some of these out-of-pack specials kind of trickling off as well. You know, you might not see a crazy weekend sell-off yet today. I feel like it's going to take big-time content. 360 on Bergwijn, huge rise there. 520 on Reyna, that's up a lot. I don't know if you're going to see a huge decline in the market today. I don't expect it to be like, you know, last year we had a huge decline in the market after Premier League team of the season. I don't know if it's going to be the same this year because I really think a lot of that decline in the market happened before TOTS, right? We had a lot more panic selling. Look at this sun, 490K for Hyunmin Sun's card. That is up crazy, crazy amount. So I don't really think you're going to see crazy amounts of selling today, but I just kind of want to put you guys in a position where you are aware that some of this stuff is probably going to continue to go down. Now, let me talk about some of the moves that I made. Is that saying Freeze Mane is extinct right now? Is that what I'm seeing? One of the very rare special cards in this game. I traded one of these. He is 1.07, which is kind of where I sold mine. Um, crazy, crazy profit statement. I made a million coins in the last week, and a lot of that was today. Again, I bought this at 153, 1.01, 1.42, 1.5 flat. I bought this Ansu Fati at a million coins. I bought this money at 820,000 coins, sold them for almost 1.1 mil. Had some team of the season flips in here, but these really didn't net me too much. I mean, I didn't, I made amount, a good amount on this Mason mount right here. I bought this at 350, 360. Sold it at 437 in that first, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. There was a good flip there. Uh, bought this cane at 660, sold at 700. So again, the focus for me is making coins, but also I'm going to be sending probably around 2 million coins or so. Now we're up to almost 7 million coins in total. As I try to flip this Gerard here, I'm going to be at about 7.5 mil. I'm really going to try to send about 2 to 3 million coins this week, I think, into upgrade packs. That seems to be a reasonable amount for me for the most hy hyped set of Team of the Season. So I want to get involved with some of that. And, uh, you know, I want to splash the cash, the hard-earned coins that we have made this year. This is the way that I like to do it. We've made a lot of coins this year. I want to use those and have some fun. So we're going to try to make some coins, um, turn those into Team of the Season cards and pack pulls. So... That is one thing that I'm excited about doing this week. But again, today on Saturday, more fluctuation with these TOTS cards. I mean, if for, regardless, right, the general consensus is that these are going to continue dropping as we get into the week, just like last week with Community, Wednesday, Thursday. 
is going to be the time when you look to buy these cards, in my opinion, uh, because that is when they're going to get their cheapest. And we saw how much demand there was for the community team of season cards on Thursday. So honestly, you want to buy early on these cards unless EA do something crazy uh, later this week. It's going to be more looking like a Wednesday time frame as a buy on these Premier League Tots cards. So they probably will drop off until then. I mean, Salah has got so much supply, man. We were looking at some of these cards on the game yesterday. It's crazy. Salah is 96 rated and had so many more pages of supply. That's why sometimes supplying this game, it never makes sense, right? Let's take a look at Salah. How many pages do we have right now on the market? Yeah, we have we have three, right? Two and a half, which is not very many, but compared to what it was earlier today, he had like 15 to 20 in total. How many about uh, with Hyunmin Sun? Hyunmin Sun has about two and a half, you know, two and three quarters. Today's Sun had so few, right? And then now he has a little bit more than Salah. So it's crazy to see how the fluctuation changes. If I saw a Sun tonight at about 1.9 mil flat, I would get involved because I know this card's probably going to rise back up. Let me check the supply again. He was 2.1 at a peak. If I could get this at like 2.1 again, that'd be nice. That's a lot of cards at 2.1. A couple overnights there at a 1.9. So I'd really have to see 1.9 flat on this for me to get interested again. You have a lot of tax going on there. Uh, Rashford, of course, was, was a big... Um, was a big talk of the town today, right? This is the number one card in terms of the most meta. Now, I'm surprised this guy's 3.2, 3.3 million coins. I think this is overpriced. Uh, his price range went from 3 mil up to 3.5, and he's still almost extinct, right? Actually, sorry, he's got a 6 million coin price range, but he was 3.5 mil. So I know this card's going to be wicked good in game, but all these cards are going to drop off as we head out of the weekend league. Just be careful for fluctuations today on some of these guys. Now, you know, a guy like Fofana as well. This one, this card coming onto the market today, you saw a lot of other center backs in the Prem take a dip, right? Joe Gomez's inform was 300,000 coins around the content drop yesterday. Um, is this a buy right here, right now? 340, and that was a nice undercut at 321 there. Uh, but this card looks decent, right? So a lot of people went out and sold their other center backs today to go use this card. Uh, you saw again, like that Joe Gomez and that Laporte. This full final was 250,000 coins right away at the content drop. Just obviously, obviously was way too cheap. Now, Ruben Diaz is a very rare one as well. I think people are just interested in trying out a card like this Ruben Diaz, and that is why he is up so much right now. Almost 500,000 coins, 490 on the market after being 430 and even under 400K during the first hour of lightning round. So that was obviously a very interesting one. Uh, this Mason Mount card has a lot of hype. I mean, he looks decent, right? He just has a lot of hype because this is his first ever Tots card. Uh, he's 389,000 coins right now. Flippin shows him at 380. How many pages do we have to 400? We have one, two, three pages to 400K. So that's a bit interesting to me because this guy looks like he might be kind of getting rare right now overnight. So if he's actually 380K, I might snag one if there's an undercut here because you know, this guy might go above 400K because this is one of the most high cards. And if you take a look at the front page of Flippin, this guy is usually on the front. This guy is usually one of the, the popular pages on the front. Yeah, it's Gundawan and Mount as the top two cards on Flippin. So crazy, crazy, crazy to see some of these cards and how much demand they have and just the demand for the entire market, right? This game has so many coins right now uh, because of the packs that were open. Saved up packs, people have been holding for ages for this specific promo. So let's talk about fodder though to end this thing off. Fodder is absolutely in the mud, right? I mean, if you look at some of, it's just like last week, right? With all the packs that were open, huge, huge fodder drops. If you want to do a club stock, be my guest for real. Informs are just stupidly low as well. Uh, Digne, this guy's 200,000 coins. He's actually gone up a little bit. This guy was 190,000 coins to do at his absolute lowest. That's literally down 50K from what he was pre-content yesterday before all the pack supply came. Let me show you Sergio Aguero's SBC. It, this was under 600,000 coins to do. And in my opinion, this Aguero, if you're doing this, I mean, by the way, you might be able to craft this with upgrades very cheap later on this week. I mean, 615,000 coins with upgrade packs. If you put three, 400,000 coins into the right upgrade packs if they get released this week, you might be able to do this Aguero for less than 100K out of your pocket after that, which, you know, you're going to be doing more SBCs so that in total investment on your upgrade packs is going to be very worth it for you. But just doing SBCs and crafting right now, is it's going to be incredible incredible value some of these icons right dog leash 1 million coins this guy is like 1.6 1.7 on the market uh essien's sbc was under 800k today this is a 1.4 million co coin icon on the market so 
a lot of these cards just got really cheap and SBC's got massively cheap today. I'm doing Gareth Bale. He's getting in, right? I'm even wearing the Bale kit today. That's what we were, we were wearing live on stream. Uh, of course, trying to pack Stun and Kane didn't happen. But um, yeah, I think... Fodder is in the bin if you want to do a club stock just like last week. Fodder is probably going to kind of slowly rise over this next week as the supply stops and as the um, demand continues to pick up for daily TOTS SBCs. That's one of the things that we're seeing with this promo is that since EA is not releasing more cards and packs, uh, they're kind of releasing more cards as SBCs and objectives. We've got two Premier League objectives, and I would expect to see more Premier League SBCs coming out this week. So that's going to be very interesting to see if we get, like, of course, a Lingard or something like that. A lot of your English links are going to continue to do very well. And as you watch the weekly sellout this week, I would 100% keep an eye out on cards that might fly under the radar. Uh, icons, right? Moments icons, prime icons, stuff that is a very meta icon that people like to use, like this Michael Owen moments card, or just some of your other specials that are English that aren't maybe in the Premier League, but also your, your Premier League specials, like this Ryan Kent went from 400,000 to 450,000 coins today, just as an English card with those links. We're going to get more English SBCs, in my opinion, again, like a Grealish or a Lingard or plenty of other SBCs they could be putting out this week. John Stones, right? Didn't get a Tots card, might get an SBC. So that's kind of all my thoughts going on right now. Definitely today, more lightning rounds are going to sell out fast, but it's not going to supply the high tier tots that much today. Now, of course, these tots prices are going to keep going down out of the weekend. So if you've got one and you want to cash it out, be my guest. Uh, but crazy, crazy, crazy market movements. Again, you can see all these cards that I traded with today. Insane, insane uh, amounts of profit. I mean, literally about five, somewhere between five to 600,000 coins just yesterday. Um, on this game, trading with stuff with the market just bouncing so high. Could have made more, obviously. Uh, but again, on the weekly, we are sitting around 2.6 mil, which is a solid over a million coins profit after tax. I mean, we started the week earlier this week with about 6.2 to 6.3 million coins totally liquid. And right now we're chilling at about 7.5 to 7.6. So big time moves, man. I don't know if we're going to hit 10 mil, of course, because that was one of my goals. I didn't talk about it a lot, but I really wanted to hit 10 mil before team the season. Uh, that didn't quite happen, but we were decently close. And uh, now it's time to have fun with the coins. So we're going to get this tots counter flowing. We're going to pack a lot of them this week. It's going to be a blast. So that's the video for today, boys. The market's crazy high. It's probably going to start trickling down a little bit this weekend, but the sell-off might be a little delayed still because again, People are keeping those cards as long as they possibly have to because of those weekend league rewards that are coming out and that they're sweating for in weekend league right now. So that's again the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.